this is the problem we have again. Small motor boat, Mr. Forrest wants to use it across a river. And we saw, I showed in the last video how you can do this, uh, what I would say is sort of the standard way, where you have the, uh, you know, this little vector triangle where you've got uh, the velocity of the boat with respect to the water pointing this way, and the velocity of the water with respect to shore pointing this way, and they add up. You have a vector like this and a vector like this, and they add up to a vector um, going straight up that gives the velocity of the boat with respect to the shore. Um, and, and so this is sort of, that's the standard way to do it. Um, a different way to do it is to take advantage of what Galileo said about relativity. Uh, Galileo said uh, many hundreds of years ago that um, you can do your physics basically in any reference frame you want. And you can, and Einstein later expanded on this, but Galileo said you can do your reference, your physics in any reference frame you want, provided that um, it is not accelerating. So we can use any non-accelerating reference frame. Non-accelerating frame, okay? So um, what we can do instead of um, instead of acting as though the shore is stationary and the water is moving at a constant speed of 2.4 meters per second, we are going to actually act as though the water is stationary and now the shore is moving at a speed of 2.40 meters per second. And what that really means for, for our purposes is that instead of, uh, instead of the, the target point and start point being stationary, they're actually moving. But the boat um, is move, the boat is moving too with respect to the water, but if we pretend the water is stationary, and it's not pretending really, as far as we know, the water is stationary and it's the shore that's moving. There's no, there's no absolute rest in the universe. Um, this was sort of part of the, the video, the telelearn video you guys had to watch. So uh, we, can, we can do the physics either way and it'll work. So here we said the velocity of the water with respect to the shore previously was this, or the speed of the water with respect to the shore, but actually that's not what it is anymore. What it is now is the speed of the shore with respect to the water. Because in our new frame of reference, the water is stationary. It's the shore that's moving this way. So our target F here is moving along this line at a speed of 2.40 meters per second. And the boat is moving, basically trying to cut a diagonal and pursue it and catch up. So what we're going to see here is that as before, as, as in the, the previous method problem, or doing the problem, the boat is going to be moving at an angle theta, and I'm just going to measure theta. Damn it, stop it. Okay, I'm just going to measure theta from vertically again, like before. So this angle is going to be theta. Okay, and I'll leave the arrow off that. All right, so that's, that's going to be theta. Okay, and this is going to be the velocity of the boat with respect to the water, just like it was before. Um, now what's going to happen is then, then uh, the, the target is going to be moving with respect to the water. So we're going to have velocity of the shore with respect to the water. Okay, so this, this F here is on the shore and it's moving down that way. So you can think of it really as though this is like, uh, imagine two football players. This guy is trying to tackle this guy or he's just trying, this guy is trying to catch this guy. This guy is running this way at 2.40 meters per second. This guy can run it up to 5 meters per second. Um, what he wants to do is he wants to get there and catch this guy as fast as possible. But he can't fall behind him on the field. So the strategy for the boat then is to aim so that um, he has a, a velocity of, of, the, of basically equal to this in the x direction. So we want the, the boat's velocity with respect to the water x component, okay again I'm just taking the standard x and y there, the x component we want that to be equal to the velocity of this guy or the speed this guy is moving to the right which is uh, the magnitude of VSW, okay? And then whatever is left we want to be heading up and we know his actual 
the velocity of the boat with respect to the water has a magnitude, let me write this somewhere else, let's see, VBW has a magnitude of 5.00 meters per second. I'm writing the scalar here, so this is the speed, 5.00 meters per second. And of course, VSW has to be 2.40 meters per second. And once you figure this out, it, it's pretty obvious um, how to solve the problem because this vector up here is also BBWX, okay? BBW, velocity of the boat with respect to the water in the x direction, and that has to be equal to 2.40 meters per second. So now we've just got a simple little triangle here, right? This, the hypotenuse has a, uh, an angle, or sorry, has a magnitude of five meters per second, has a length of five meters per second. The short leg is 2.4 meters per second, since it's the right angle, and this is the angle theta we wanna find, the sine of theta is 2.40 over 5.00. So sine theta is 2.40 over 5.00. It's that opposite over hypotenuse, okay? So, which is gonna be 0 0.48, which is unsurprisingly going to be the same as that answer we had before, which I, th so, actually, sorry, I can't write an equal sign there. So I'll have to just forget that, okay. So theta is 28.7 degrees, I think. Um, and so there, there you have it. Um, it's just, it's a matter of looking at the problem in a different non-accelerating reference frame. Uh, but any non-accelerating reference frame will work just as well as any other one. That's very important. And we're gonna take advantage of that fact as we you know, go through the year because frequently there are gonna be problems um, is as good as any other. So I'll just write is as good, okay? There will frequently be problems we do or situations that arise where it's more uh, advantageous to look at the problem in a different reference frame So than the one that, that you might be obvious. So anyway, there you go. Um, hope that helps you.